Everyone wants to know why cats are so popular on the internet. Do you all, I actually know the answer to this. This is not a joke. This is real. I've done a PhD on this. Okay. So dog owners, a lot of dog owners here, right? A lot of dog owners. Oh, wow. Okay, cat owners? Yeah. Meow. All right. Put my hand up high. I, um, I'm like a part-time dog owner at this point, but I have a full-time cat. Don't let her know. Um, but the thing with cats, and this is, it, it took me a minute to realize this, and I guess co-founding Reddit means I should know a thing or two about cats and cat photos. Dog owners, you all get to be social all of the time, right? You take your dog to the dog walk, dog park, dog, I don't know, dog mall, dog restaurants, where you get to go everywhere with your dog, right on leash. You see other dog owners, your dogs smell each other, you talk, oh yeah, that's fluffy, yeah, it's a great day to have a dog. I don't know what you all talk about, but there's a, there's a, there's a culture and community around dog ownership that is very public. Now, cat owners, on the other hand, we don't take our cats outside, with, with some exceptions. We have no venue to bring our cat and just be like, hmm, Mittens had such a great day today. Look at her go. Hmm, I love owning a cat, don't you? Yeah, like, there, there has never been before the internet a space for community to happen between cat owners. This is totally, this is like jazz right now. This is, I am, this is not part of my talk. Totally, totally vibing with you guys. Um, but what the internet has done, in particular, r slash cats, r slash blep, and the many cat-related communities on Reddit, has given a community, given a culture, given a space to share all of those inane and sometimes informative discussions about cats that just can't happen in meat space because our cats refuse to go outdoors. So, now you know that. 